Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer emails from one Gmail account to another Gmail account. If you find this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight to the video, shall we? Alright, so I've got two email accounts here open. I've got my tutorial is tutorialwiz23 at gmail.com and I've got another email account which is techwiz, FBA takeoff at gmail.com. So I want to move all of these emails from TechWiz to TutorialWiz. The first thing you need to do is to go over to the account where you want to send all the emails from. So I'm at TechWiz. And then from here, what you want to do is click onto the gear icon settings and then click on see all settings. And then once you're inside settings, you want to click onto forwarding and pop IMAP. And then you want to enable pop for all mail and then from there number two when it says when messages are accessed with pop so you've got an option here when you get emails you can keep gmail's copy in this inbox or you can delete gmail's or you can archive date gmail's just choose which one you want to do so i'm not going to access this email again so i'm just going to simply just delete these gmail copy from this account and now from there, once that is done, go ahead and click on save changes. That's all you need to do from this email account. But there's one more step that we need to do as well, sorry, before we head on over to the other email account and play around the settings there. All right, head back to your settings and then go see all settings. And then go to forwarding and pop.imap. Make sure this has been configured and saved because sometimes it can glitch and not save. So this looks all good. Pop is enabled for all mail, so that looks good. So now I'm gonna to go to my tutorial with Gmail account. And then from here, I'm gonna click onto the settings gear icon, click on see all settings. And now from here, you wanna click onto accounts and import tab. And now from here, look for an option that says check mail from other accounts. Click onto add a mail account. And that's gonna bring up a little box here. So enter the email address you'd like to add. So I'm going to add this email address here, which is fbatakeoff at gmail.com. So I'm going to pop, drop that in now. And now I'm going to click on to next. So now I'm going to click on the import emails from my other account, pop free, click next. So the username is fbatakeoff at gmail.com. And now I'm going to put in my password here. And now from here, you want to change the pop server to pop.gmail, like so, and the port is 995. And now from here, we don't need to leave a copy of a tree message on the server because we told the other side we're going to delete them. So there's no need to check that box. I suggest you always use a secure connection, SSL, when retrieving mail. And you can label incoming messages from there so you know it's coming from the other account. And then once you've done that, go ahead and click on Add Account. All right, it says here, Server Denied Pop Free Access for the Given Username and Password. So to fix this, all right, what I need to do is enable two-step verification in my old account. So I need to enable it on my TechWiz account here. So to do that, I'm going to click onto my account and then I'm going to click on to manage my Google account. And I'm going to go over to security. I'm going to click on two-step verification. It's off. I need to enable it. So now I'm going to put in my password here and click on next. Now I'm going to click on turn on two-step verification. I'm going to put in my phone number, I'm going to find my country code, put in my phone number here and then I'm going to click on next. And now once you do that, you're going to get a code from Google and then put in that code and then go code, sorry, and then click on next. And then once you've done that, you can see turn off two-step verification. So that means it is enabled and Google prompt one device is enabled. Now once that is done, go back to your Google account and then click into security. And now the next step here is to go back to Google and type in as at password Google account and then click on signing into Google at password. 
and now you don't have any app passwords to create a new app Pacific password type in a name for it below so I'm going to type in mail and then I'm going to click on create all right so my new app password for my device is this so I'm going to copy this and jot this down like so and I'm going to paste this into a notepad just in case I forget it now I'm going to click on done so you can see here I've got a app password for mail that has been just created at 810 and now I'm going to head on over to my new Gmail account where I want all this information transferred to I'm going to go back to this little box here and now I'm going to put in that password I created so I'm going to copy this password put it in here and then click on add account Now I'm going to save it. So it says here your mail account has been added. From here you can click on no. You can change it later. So click on finish. And now if I go into the settings on my new account. You can, you can see here in under accounts and imports. Check mail from other accounts. So FBA takeoff at gmail.com. It's check a mail. This could take a few moments or a few minutes depending how much email is on your old gmail account that's getting transferred across so give it a few moments could take five minutes an hour just depending how much email is coming across and then once it does come across it'll be in inside your inbox here so if i go back to see all settings accounts and imports i'll pause this video and get back to you once this is done and i'll show you the emails in the inbox to show you that it does work Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, check mail from other accounts, FBA takeoff at gmail.com, last check seven minutes ago. So if I go to my old email address, FBA takeoff, you can see these, this is all empty now because it's been removed and sent to my new Gmail account here inside my inbox of tutorial is. So you can see here, FBA takeoff at gmail, FBA takeoff at gmail.com. Has been moved across here again i didn't have too many emails on there so when it gets moved across it's going to be in um on the correct date so as you can see this one from john from zon guru fba takeoff was at the may 24th and these if i go back a few more sections in my email you see the same thing fba takeoff there's none here i right, go to the next page yeah, there's one here, FBA takeoff, takeoff, May 7th and 7th and 7th. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.